students of Wodonga Senior Secondary College, parents, teachers and distinguished guests, thank you for coming together today with us to celebrate our students and the wonderful, uh, wonderful achievements that they achieve here at our school. It is my honour to introduce Mr Hilditch, our principal of our college. If you could please make him feel welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And may I also take this opportunity to welcome everyone to the 2019 Semester One Award and Presentation Assembly. In particular, may I also welcome our special guests and parents to today's assembly. Today's assembly will once again give you a strong insight into what we value and what is celebrated as success in this college. Before we begin today's proceedings and celebration, I'd like to acknowledge and pay respect to the Dadaroa, tradi uh, traditional owners of the land on which we meet. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and future. Over the semester, a great deal has been achieved. Many have, had, have uh, been recognised in previous assemblies, mainly house assemblies. Today is a day for celebrating some of those achievements and may I take, uh, my task today is mainly to thank people for their extraordinary efforts in making the semester such an outstanding success and to introduce uh, first of our student leadership group who will emcee today's assembly. I'll have more to say towards the end of the assembly, but once again, may I welcome you here as we celebrate the achievements of our students. It's my pleasure to introduce Chelsea Barton and Sinead Lee, members of our, the 2019 leadership team who will emcee today's assembly. Thank you very much. Good morning, my name is Chelsea Barton. Thank you, Mr. Hilditch, and on behalf of Sinead Lee and myself, we also welcome you all here today. The first of the academic awards today are the Learning Culture Area Awards. These will be presented by the Learning Culture Team Coordinators. The recipients of these awards will be nominated for recognition of outstanding performances and contributions to a learning area. Nominations were based on achievement and academic behaviour GPA, scores for the last 12 months for Year 11s and six months for Year 10s. Please note that these awards will be recognised for Year 12s at the Valedictory in October. Firstly, I'd, I invite Gary Gus Carcerello to the stage, followed by Rebecca Steele and Sherry Parkhouse, to award the 2019 recipients in the areas of English, language, Languages, Humanities and AVID. Could I ask recipients, once they come onto the stage, to remain on stage after receiving their award? And could the audience please save your applause until the end? The English award in year 10 goes to Georgia Ruzzi. <laughs> English area year 11, Hannah Mosley. <laughs> Languages. Year 10, Caitlin Barber. And Languages Year 11, Crystal Schubert. The Humanities Year 10, there's a tie for this award and it goes to Joshua Nickel and Hoi Thai Ling Nguyen. And the Year 11 Humanities Award goes to Olivia Cameron. Ms. Parkhouse will now present the AVID Award. This is presented to Frank Brewer.
Please give them all a round of applause. I now invite Stephen Alderton and Terry Grigotsky presenting the Maths and Science Awards. <laughs> Mathematics, Year 10, Liam Nguyen. <laughs> Mathematics, Year 11, Jordan Ross. Science, Year 10, Hannah Mulholland. Science, Year 11, Jordan Ross. Please give them a hand. You can now be seated. I now invite Tanya Gower and Martin Smith to the stage to present the Arts and Health and PE Awards. For visual and performing arts, the awards go to Year 10, Tess Spry. Year 11, Jolie Schmutter. <laughs> Health and Physical Education, Year 10, goes to Michael Groman. Health and Physical Education, Year 11, goes to Christopher Watson. <laughs> Please give them all a hand. I now invite Steve Garrow, Lana Melbourne and Jess Callahan to the stage to present the Technology, Vocational Education and Training and VCAL Awards. The Technology and Trades Award, Year 10, go to Luke Hall. And Than Fuen Young. And the Year 11 Technology Award goes to Declan Quinn Liven. The Vocational Education and Training Awards for Year 11 go to Christopher Watson and Letitia Sloan. <laughs> and the VCAL Awards for Pre-CAL go to Jackson Ellis and VCAL Jack Redcliffe. Let's give them all a hand. <laughs> and
And now for the Graduate Program and Impact Project Awards. Cheryl P Sherry Parkhouse will present these awards. To achieve this award, students must have demonstrated the 11 attributes of diversity, confidence, tenacity, adaptability, contribution, high expectations, be forward-looking, thinking skill, empathy, and technological confidence, along with the following qualities. Have used the nominated GP time highly effectively and completed the relevant coursework for program sessions to a very high standard and shown a high degree of initiative in identifying and completing a significant impact project. The Impact Project Awards for the Exceptional Impact Projects, which suggest the 11 attributes are, Jack Bennett for his eSports project, and Luke Runtzman for his bicycle recycle project. <laughs> the Group Impact Project Awards go to, Michael Groman, Bailey Williamson and McKinley Page for their Teaching Fundamental Sports Skills Project at Wodonga Primary School. Ben Seymour and Flynn Williams for their Park Benches Project at Parklands Albury Wodonga. Jackson Ellis, Ben Foxley and Brendan Pickersgill for their League for Kids Rugby Project. Please give him a hand. The next set of awards are the Academic Diligence Awards. Diligence Awards are given to students who have displayed perseverance, put in effort to the highest level, and are being recognised for diligence awarded in over 50% of their studies taken at their year level. These awards will be presented by Miss Cassandra Walters. This year, these have been awarded to the following students. Shani Barton, Caitlin Barber, Joanna Garoni, Alyssa Lowe, Kelly Nadia Saba, Tess Spry, Luke Runtzman, Christopher Watson, Jenna Hall, Charlotte Kay, Madeline Mildren and Bonnie Wright. Congratulations. Our next category of awards is the Academic Excellent Awards. These will also be presented by Miss Cassandra Walters. The Excellent Awards are presented to students who have achieved a GPA of four in the academic achievement of the GPA in over 50% of their subjects over the academic year. The recipients are Lachlan Payne, Michael Groman, Matilda Macklin, Jillian Young, Georgia Rootsy, Luke Hall, Ashley Johnson, Lum Nguyen, Caitlin O'Connell, 
Jordan Ross, Hannah Mosley, Tegan Debnan, Moise Bardasiri, Gabani Rajpal, who is currently absent today due to attending the Youth Science Forum in the UK. <laughs> Peyton Keeble. And Emma Morrison. Please give them all a round of applause. Now we have a few sponsored awards. These are awarded by our community partners and recognise specific achievements of merit from our student body. I invite Jess Callahan back to the stage to present the special awards for the VCAL program. The Work Placement VCAL Award is sponsored by Styles Bros and goes to Maddie Burns. Maddie Burns, who will finish with senior VCAL, has maintained her SVAT and schooling and has been offered a traineeship post-school, which she has accepted. Please give her a hand. <laughs> the Community Placement VCAL Award is sponsored by Cuss's Cuisine. This goes to Jack Redcliffe. Jack has contributed to robotics mentoring at Belvoir, care van each week, sandwiches for the primary schools, winter solstice and many more. Please give him a hand. You can ask him to okay. I now welcome Mr Vern Hilditch to the stage to present the final two awards. The first of these awards is the Wodonga Way Respect and Aspiration Award. This award is presented to students who have demonstrated consistent exemplary behaviour both within and outside the classroom, in line with our Wodonga Way positive behaviours of care, respect, aspiration and engagement. One student from each house has been nominated for this award. The award recipients are, for Blue House, Han Dang, For Red House, Madeline Jennings. For Green House, Tegan Debnam. And for Yellow House, Courtney Smiley. Please give him a hand. You can now be seated. The final award today is the Principal's Award. This is awarded to students who have achieved academic excellence and academic diligence in over 80% of their studies for the academic year and who has been recognised throughout another award today. This year, the Principal's Award goes to Jordan Ross. <laughs> we 
please give him another round of applause. I now invite Principal Vern Hilditch to make his closing remarks. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Right. As um, we draw this uh, presentation assembly to a close, there are a few concluding remarks I'd like to make. Wodonga Senior Secondary College continues to provide outstanding education, support and well-being opportunities for all of our students. Not only do they realise success in their academic pursuits, but in a whole range of other social and community activities. We congratulate our students on their achievements and the genuine pride they continually demonstrate as they attend Wodonga Senior Secondary College. Could you please give a round of applause to all of our award winners today? Thank you. Thank you. There's also a very large group who uh, will be presenting up on uh, Friday night to the City of Wodonga's Red Carpet Awards, and I wish them all the very best. A lot of our students uh, have been nominated this year, and uh, we do uh, hope that they uh, take pride in the fact that they have been nominated for the various categories uh, of youth achievement in the City of Wodonga, not just the school. There are many people uh, that I'd like to thank for making today and the semester such a success. For today, the individual organisations who have donated awards, scholarships or prizes, we thank them very much for giving those awards and also for uh, uh, others which we'll receive during the year. Special thanks to our school captains, Chelsea and Sine, for their superb job in hosting today's assembly. So thank you very much for that. If you could thank them, thank you. May I also thank the uh, teachers and admin staff who organised the students and the staff to be here today, uh, and in particular, Bridie Hind, who coordinated the entire event. Could you make them welcome as well? And still behind the scenes. I'd also like to acknowledge our parents and carers. A school can never achieve the optimum outcomes for their students without support of its families and the wider community. Our sincere thanks and appreciation for all the work and support that you have freely given to make our college a better place. And of course the students, they also need to be thanked for accepting the challenges presented during this semester. Many have had your achievements recognised today and I congratulate you for that. Others have been recognised uh, at other times throughout the semester. I also wish to recognise the efforts made by every student who has made some progress during the year in mastering some skill or meeting some new challenge that has led to their personal growth. Could you give the parents and students and yourselves a round of applause, please? <laughs> it is our responsibility as a school to continue to provide and expand the multiple pathways so that all students can successfully complete 13 years of formal education. It is also our responsibility to ensure every graduate has a meaningful pathway on leaving our college. We guarantee this through our school's strategic plan. Now, I'd also like to thank the uh, teachers and staff, and this, um, this award assembly, of course, concentrates on our students and their achievement. However, a great deal of thanks must go to the staff in the dedicated uh, efforts that are given in assisting students uh, throughout the semester. Teachers create the safe yet, yet challenging environment in which students take risks and experience learning. Turning our attention to this semester, uh, and before we do that, if we could thank the teachers, please. They don't often get all that much thanks, so thank you for all your efforts. Now, turning our attention to what remains of 2019, and certainly in this semester, our Year 12 students should be excited about moving on to the next stage, work or further study, as you successfully complete your final year of secondary schooling. You would have realised that uh, there are now only 10 weeks of formal classes remaining in your secondary school career. 
As I said, you don't count the days at this stage, um, you make the days count. So please make sure that you work pretty hard over the next 10 weeks. For all those students, uh, this is the term where we consolidate what we're here for. When we expect the greatest amount of uninterrupted quality learning, and uh, hopefully it's what we call the hard work term. To be successful with school, as with anything else you do in life, you need to develop the skill of self-reflection. In the first week of this term, many of you, or we will have all received your semester, uh, the end of semester GPA report. This is an ideal time for you to reflect on your progress. The results in each of your subjects should not have come as, as a surprise. If your reports do not match your own personal evaluation, then you need to urgently talk to the teachers concerned. Don't just dismiss or ignore these reports. They are designed to help you with feedback on your progress and what areas you may need to improve. A willingness by you to put effort into seeking and dealing with explicit feedback is recognised as one of the key strategies to success. Feedback is important to us all and feedback to the school as a whole is also occurring. So next week and over the next four weeks, the college will be undertaking the four yearly review con which is conducted by the Education Department. During that time, and there are 15 members of the review panel, we'll look closely at what we said we would achieve against what has actually been achieved over the last four years. The best way to judge that is by observing what is happening in classrooms and talking to students, teachers and parents. The results of this review are then used to help us set goals and priorities for the next four years. If you get an opportunity, and most of you will, because uh, certainly on Tuesday of next week, they'll be visiting at least 20 classrooms. Uh, if you get an opportunity, please make um, members of the review panel welcome to the school and answer any questions they may have as honestly as you can, warts and all. As a student at the senior college, you have limitless, limitless opportunities as pathways open up in a large range of areas where you um, are supported through this stage of schooling. I always conclude this assembly by talking about three major things. Ability, and when you think about this, ability is what you are capable of doing. Motivation determines what you can do, and attitude determines how well you do it. Your attitude determines your direction. So, I believe that attitude is everything. With the right positive attitude, you can do anything you want. Thank you very much and have a great semester. And I'll hand it back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Hilditch. I would like to introduce some entertainment for you. After the wonderful awards, we have one of our fabulous bands to perform for you. Uh, the music captains, Charlotte, Madeline, Jesse, Jolie and Eric. Put your hands together.
Was a con-